Now in this experiment we will see if we are changing frequency what are the effects. This light we take different readings by changing its frequency and I have told you when we change the frequency color will change but we won't say it color we say we are changing the frequency ok. So for any given frequency there is certain intensity also but that intensity we will not change whenever we change the frequency ok. So for any given intensity for any given frequency we expose this to the light electrons are ejected out and there is a current here without any voltage when the voltage is 0 we find that current to be this much ok. Then we give positive potential to collector plate and the current increase again current increase again current increase increase the voltage current increase increase the voltage current increase and increase increase finally it stop increasing and this is the saturation point and we get this graph and when we decrease the voltage give it a negative less than 0 the current decreases this we have already discussed and this here the current has become 0 and this is we have termed as stopping potential for this particular frequency. Frequency 1, frequency 1 I will write it nu 1. This is saturation current I. This is the graph what we received in the uh, other first experiment but now we do the change not in the intensity of light but in the frequency of light. Intensity is same. We give higher frequency and start with zero voltage. When we give higher frequency start with zero voltage our initial current is higher than this and increase the voltage this increases 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 but then it becomes saturated and the saturation current is same. When we decrease it then it decreases, 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 decreases and this voltage has come negative but the current has not become zero. It is still there and here it has become zero. So this is stopping potential for frequency number 2. This was for frequency number 1. Again we increase the frequency. Now we get this graph. Here stopping potential frequency 3. This is the situation and it is very clear situation have we changed the intensity no if all the wave all the three times light had the same frequency what is same in these two answer the intensity of light is same for all the frequencies and what was here intensity was same here current is same this height shows the current. I should write here current. Photoelectric current. What I am changing is frequency nu 1, this is nu 2 and this is nu 3 where nu 3 is larger than nu 2 is larger than nu 1. So when I increase the frequency there is no change in the photoelectric current 
but there is a definite change in stopping potential so frequency is related to stopping potential and what is indicated by stopping potential stopping potential in gives us the potential energy stopping potential gives us potential energy of the electron here which was in which form in the form of kinetic energy that kinetic energy was nullified by this negative potential energy and equal amount so this gives us energy of the electron what stopping potential potential itself is what work done per unit charge and how much is the total work done charge into potential that is e into v naught now if v naught is different for different frequencies we can very simply draw a conclusion that frequency increases the energy of the electron increase so energy of electron energy of electron is energy of electron increase with increase of frequency this is a very important result here the frequency was not increasing what we were changing intensity and we found energy of the electron was same here what do we find that when we change the frequency energy of the electron goes on increasing we are not changing the intensity so current is not changing that is there but we are talking about energy and energy is a function of what is it a function of intensity answer no what is intensity made of intensity is proportional to square of the amplitude now we are changing the amplitude but this is a proof that energy is not increasing so this statement that energy is intensity and that is proportional to amplitude this is a wrong statement in this case that is what this proves and what this tells us that energy of electron is function of the frequency okay now here we have a particular phenomena that phenomena is if we decrease the frequency then when we decrease the frequency go on decreasing it then there is a particular frequency at which there is ejection of electron and you decrease the frequency a little the ejection will stop and if you decrease the frequency further no electron decrease it further no electron what does it prove it is very obvious frequency is related to what energy frequency that means if we decrease the frequency energy given to electron will decrease and when we want an electron to be ejected out it needs a certain amount of energy which we learnt as work function if it does not get that much energy which is equal to work function then it will not come out it will slide inside it will do whatever convert it into heat or whatever do but it will not come out that means if the work function of an electron is say 4.2 electron volt then the light should be able to give it 4.2 electron volt if the light does not give it that much if it gives it 3.8 it will not come out so there is a minimum frequency at which electron comes out so that means minimum frequency is related to the work function 
minimum frequency at which electron comes out is given a name and that name is threshold frequency. Why threshold? Because that is the last energy at which minimum energy at which electron comes out. If we decrease the energy further electron will not come out. So that energy at which it has come out that is known as threshold energy. So threshold energy threshold energy sorry threshold frequency minimum frequency minimum frequency required to eject out electron from metal. So again this threshold frequency is a function of metal. It changes from metal to metal because this is the frequency which generates work function. Now according to quantum theory light comes in packets. These packets are packets of photon and these photons inside are having vibrations. These photons are having frequency as well as wavelength. Both things are combined. As a packet, it behaves like a material, moves straight. But inside, it is vibrating, it is a packet of waves. That is photon is doing. So photon has got a certain frequency and that frequency decides the color of the photon. What we say is the color of the light. So, at this threshold frequency, we give it a symbol nu naught. What will be the energy of the photon or energy of the light? Answer this energy will be H nu naught. This is the energy of that photon and this is the one which when given to electron, the electron comes out. And what is the name of that work done? Work function. So this is the work which is equal to work function. Now this is a very important relation, we got threshold frequency work function, they are related to each other. Threshold frequency multiplied by what is this H, H is Planck's constant, Planck's constant and this is a constant which is required to convert frequency of an electromagnetic wave into energy. So this is the relation. So if we decrease it, this value will decrease and the electron will not come out. That means this is equal to work function. Okay. Now this is value of the frequency, minimum frequency. But what we are giving here is not a minimum frequency. It is more than that. And that energy, when we give it here, that comes out and by the extra energy, which is converted into kinetic energy, the electron runs in this direction. So see the two graphs again. What is proved by this? The intensity of light cannot change the energy of electron. What does it say? the frequency of different frequencies of the light can change energy of the electron. So energy is energy of the ejected electron depends upon the frequency. Though intensity is same, the energy is different. This is proved practically. So these are two very important postulate. Stopping potential, where do we use it? 
kinetic energy of electron is equal to stopping potential and this is work function is equal to uh, h into this uh, threshold frequency. Now suppose we give it any other frequency like this one, nu 1. What will be its energy? Answer h into nu 1. This is the total energy given, not the work function. Now if we give it total energy, then out of that total energy, some energy is used as work function, consumed. Rest of the energy is still with the electron. What does it do with that energy? Answer, with that energy, it runs. If it runs with that energy, what will we call it? Kinetic energy. So, total energy given by a photon by the light is h nu 1, out of which it will use h nu naught as uh, <coughs> work function, rest of the energy will be used as kinetic energy and this gives an equation which is known as Einstein's equation. So, Einstein equation we will study in the next lecture. Thank you.